this is Evil Nick coming to you from Evil Controllers and today I'm going to be showing you how to install the Evil D-pad into your Xbox 360 controller. So first thing you want to do is you want to open the box. A little bit tricky. <laughs> Take out your D-pad kit, unwrap it. Inside you'll find a little baggie with the D-pad buttons, a little Allen wrench, and the cover. And uh, we're just going to take a minute to unscrew this, and we'll be right back with you. So what we have here is your Xbox 360 controller and what you didn't see me do is I just unscrewed the seven screws from the back of the controller. Two located at the bottom, two in the middle, two at the top, and then there's one that you gotta be careful that you don't forget about. It's the one that's right there in the center there. So the next thing I'm gonna do, and I'm gonna describe this process as I go through it, is I'm gonna take apart the controller. So the first thing you wanna do is just sort of Unclip the back, and that comes off pretty easily. You gotta slide it off the top so you can get those. But, uh, then the next part is motherboard. And the easiest way to do this is to just, I find, is to just pop the uh, the two sticks, just push them, and it comes right out like that. You just set that aside, and then we're just gonna take everything out this, little rubber pieces, and that and just leave it there, little Xbox centerpiece, you can just sort of take apart this, top part, triggers, this bottom part, right there, just sort of dump all that out, so all the buttons, set that aside, Bring over your Evil D-pad kit. Uh, first thing I like to do is put the bottom pieces on, because those you have to actually snap in. You don't want to do that last, you want to do that first. Those just snap in right there like that. Put that on top. Then the next thing I do is put the uh, X, Y, B buttons in. So there you have those in, and then put these little guys in inside. You gotta make sure that um, when you're putting these buttons in, that you get them in the grooves, these little grooves, and they match up. Um, it's pretty straightforward. It's, if you ever put like connects or Legos together, it's sort of the same thing. It's not so hard. So there you have all the buttons in. Next thing you're going to do is um, you're going to open the bag, take out your evil D-pad buttons. And those are going to go just like with the other buttons. They just slide in with little grooves. <coughs> Pretty easy. Put the rubber over the top of that. Just fits in real nice like that. And then, last but not least, you hold this, put the motherboard back in. You gotta have the, uh, the dual shocks. Over there, and this just sort of slides in like that. So now you have the motherboard back in, and the last thing you do is put the back on. Just 
just slides over just like that. Oh, and oh, this part's a little bit tricky. You gotta push the springs in so you don't accidentally hurt those or anything like that. And then that's it. Just slides in. You just put the screws back in. And there you have it. So now that you got Evil D pad all set up, you wanna. Most important thing is you gotta check all the buttons, make sure that they're secured. Once you feel like everything is just the way you want it, screw everything back together, and there you have it. Evil D-Pad, 360 controller, go plunk some noobs, and uh, if you have any problems, you can contact us at info at evilcontrollers.com. And this is Evil Nick.